Hello guys, this is IB Hunter. I've been really busy lately between family and work that uh, I haven't been able to upload very many videos lately. But the good news is I have been testing out some new astrophotography gear and trying to learn how to use it effectively. I should have a video featuring that new equipment coming out soon. Wow, I just realized how loud the frogs are from inside my house. I guess that comes with the territory of living in South Louisiana. Anyway, I have been collecting some astrophotography data and I currently have enough for about five videos. So the video you're looking at right now was recorded on Wednesday, May 29th. Uh, I was able to get some decent images of Jupiter because the atmosphere was a lot more stable than it was during my last video. In my sick mind that justified me staying up to 3 a.m. collecting images of Jupiter when I knew I had to get up at 5.30 in the morning to go to work. On the bright side, I got 2 hours and 20 minutes of pretty decent video uh, of Jupiter that I was able to make into an animation. I started off by stacking the images and getting a lot more detail out of the cloud bands some of the images came out pretty decent. Then I took some of those stacked images and rotated them into an orientation that looked a little more normal. And then I adjusted the position to stack them on top of each other. And finally I ended up using about 26 frames to get the equivalent of 2 hours and 20 minutes of Jupiter's rotation into an AVI file. compare this with an animation I did last year around this time. Besides being much more detailed, each frame is much more consistent in quality. While I was messing around with some of the images, I was able to take some of the better ones and um, enhance them a little bit using GIMP. Unfortunately, not all of the images could be enhanced with consistent results which is why I use the standard unenhanced versions in the animation. Finally, since I was having so much fun with Jupiter's rotation, I decided to see if I could demonstrate how much its amazingly fast rotation causes it to oblate or get a bulge in the equatorial region. Oh, and by the way, that bulge in Jupiter's equatorial region has been there for much more than four hours. Just saying. For the demonstration, I stacked two images of Jupiter rotated 90 degrees on top of each other. These images clearly demonstrate how much Jupiter's rotation makes it bulge along the equator. Finally, as the clouds were rolling in, I noticed that Ganymede and Io were nearly on top of each other, so I couldn't resist. I had to get a shot of both of those together, and the clouds forced me to cut that imaging session a little short, but it was time to go to bed anyway. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If things go as planned, I should be uploading a new video soon.